Hey guys, Anthony back again. It's Sunday, May 1st, 2022. Uh, I just received a radio, a Bofang UV5R. This is a blue one, and this one's going to go to my wife, and we could differentiate by the color. So Bofangs come in a couple of different colors. I know there's blue, red, I believe there's a yellow, a camo. Um, so I wanted to get her a different color of the same radio. I'm going to upgrade her antenna also but what I want to do today is show you guys uh, using the chirp software which I'm going to open up right now so I did a video the other day showing going to micklord.com and how to go to chirp at the Dan Planet website download the latest version of chirp which you see here in the upper left of the screen you'll see the chirp uh, file edit view and radio headings there and so what I'm gonna do is take this radio open up the side panel here which exposes the uh, port for the programming cable and it's a standard hookup I discussed that in the other video and what I'm gonna do is plug it in make sure it snaps okay then I'm gonna turn the radio on now this when we download the frequencies, you'll see, I think these come with like two frequencies programmed in the 128. It goes from 0 to 127. So right now I'm going to go to the software here, put the radio down, keep it on. I'm going to go to radio on the Chirp software, as you see on the screen. I'm going to say download from radio. I already have it set on my port which is going to match your computer COM port. Uh, you're going to select your vendor, of course. It's it's set right now for Bofang, but there, if you see, if I click that, the other different radio brands come up. And then also down here, the different models. Okay, so it's set for the radio I have, which is the Bofang UV5R. And so now I'm going to hit OK and then hit OK again and now you're gonna see cloning process it's pulling the frequencies from this brand new radio out of the box it's gonna put them on the screen and then what I'm going to do once this happens okay so there they are so zero has that frequency there and then 127 has um, 435.725 you can see that at the bottom so I'm just going to zero these all out so I'm going to go edit select what I'm going to I'm going to select on the screen then I'm going to say edit select all which is going to select all my 128 frequency locations I'm going to say edit delete so it, it basically zeroed everything out so it's a blank template if you will now the radio is still on. Now in my desktop I have saved the file, different files I have, you'll see, for different radios that I've programmed for people and also areas of the country that if I do visit I could download those frequencies into a radio and when I get to that area of the country, let's say New York, Virginia, Washington DC, wherever I travel I can load in those frequencies for the city or area and then when I get to that area just turn on my radio and I'll be able to pick up the repeaters or the weather or whatever in that area so I'm going to go to file and I'm gonna say import because I want to import a file from my computer to to chirp convert it and then load it into chirp and then upload it into the radio so I'm going to say import my frequencies is the, I called it 5122 so I'm going to select that and say open there it is now it's going to convert it once I once I click on OK here it's going to convert it and put it into my file on the screen which you see here and then all I have to do is go radio upload to radio hit OK and now all those frequencies 
are going to go into the new radio and I'm going to be able to talk with that radio with other radios that I have programmed. And it's as simple as that using the Chirp software. So that's the video today on this and I'll show you in just a minute. But I want to do one more thing before I close out here. Okay, so all of these frequencies are in there. So I want to go to settings and I just check something here. So on the AB, display mode A, display mode B, what I like to do in display mode B is display the name of the channel. Because some of the channels I have are named, like for, they're abbreviated. So what I want to do is put those abbreviations into the radio. So now I'm going to go back here and, and do the upload again. And I'll show you what it did because the first time I didn't change that parameter in the settings. So now what it's going to do is, <clears throat> when I turn on a radio, the, the B section here at the bottom is going to be channel names and the top section is going to show the frequency. That way I could tell my wife, go to, uh, you know, channel 20 is going to say, you know, a local city in our town and go to that channel. It says the name abbreviated, so it's easier to follow. So that's complete. The radio is done. So now what I'm going to do is, once that clears out and shuts down, I'm going to shut this radio. So this is the radio I just cloned. I'm going to unplug the programming cable. Now this radio, when I turn it on, Channel mode. if you can see here, and I'm not sure if you can see this, on the um, channels, I'll get to one. one two. So channel, channel 125 is a local repeater. It says local down here. So I know that's kind of a, go to, go to the channel that says local, channel 125, and that's the name of the channel. So that's how that goes. So that radio now is programmed the same as this radio. And I'll show you right now. We'll go to a channel. I'm going to go to a channel. I'm going to go to a MERS channel. MERS channel 1. And MERS channel 1. Let me get to it. I'm just scrolling through this other radio. One, eight. Eight, nine. Okay, MERS channel one, MERS channel one. Let's see if they work. Testing one, two, testing, testing one, two. There it goes. Testing one, two, testing, testing one, two. Oh, I know this radio has to be unlocked. I need to unlock it. I'm going to do another video showing how to unlock that. But let's go to another yeah, frequency. Channel 18. And channel channel 18 testing one two testing 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 one two testing testing KK4 KDO over there you go radios are talking to each other the one thing I have to do on this radio it comes locked from the factory there's a way to unlock it. That way it could transmit some other channels. And I'm going to do a video on that showing that as well. Thanks for joining me, guys. Questions or comments, let me know. Um, Anthony signing off. Just another way to use Chirp to export and import files. I could save this file now again and call it something else or just blank it out since I already have it saved or upload it into another radio. Um, 
So that's the video. Let me know if it helped. Let me know uh, questions or comments. Anthony signing off. Take care. Stay ready. <clears throat> now we're going to close out the video.